How's it going at home wherever you are? My name is Turbot Films and welcome back to another episode of Prepare for News. So, yesterday we got some more news about the commander mode in Battlefield 4, which is quite exciting to know because it seems like a good thing to use. So we got the basic loadouts, we got squad loops, main asset loops, and HVT. I will go into everything in further details now. First out, we got the basic loadouts, which is the UAV, the EMP, and the ZM warning, or cruise missile warning for you all who doesn't understand my shortening. But the UAV is a short range or kind of short range scanning system which will reveal the enemies on your minimap. The electronic magnetic pulse or EMP for short is a jamming device will probably disable the main minimap or the main map on the other screen you can have. I don't think that will do that but it might be cool. So and the cruise missile warning. It will show an area where the enemy cruise missile is going to hit. Which is quite exciting to have. For a good commander, you will use this, this, these things all the time, all the time for good coverage. And then there is the squad loops, which is basically a field upgrade system for the commander to use. It consists of four levels, like the field upgrade system does, which is squad promotion, boost school squad members individual field upgrade bars towards next unlock, vehicle drop. You can deploy a quad bike or light boat, depending on the train a parachute like uh, you could do in armored kill battlefield 3 yeah and then there's the rapid deploy cut the squad spawn time in half for a fixed period of time supply drop de deploy a large crate that will heal resupply and repair friendly units in addition friendly units will be able to change kits on the field which we think is an interesting tactics and tactical addition to the game the main asset loop system is obtained by owning the objectives of a different type of area like A, B, C or D. Or if it's even more than that, but I just, maybe E. But anyways, the thing is the cruise missile, which you have a warning system for, which is good. It's a launch from a fixed position on the map that will fly cruising altitude before dropping in an arc at the designated point, wiping out anything in the vicinity. The power is substantial, and this is why it's a good commander will use the cruise missile's warning as whenever possible. And then there's the two types of map scans. Vehicle and infantry scan. Used for long-term highlighting of enemy units on the map for your team. And that is the... Now is the... Probably not the... Most liked thing in Battlefield, Battlefield 3's armored kill. It's, it's the AC-130 gunship. This powerful plane provides grand support for multiple weapons, as well as mobile spawn points covering a large section of the map. I just hope they tone it down from the armor kill. I haven't played armor kill myself, but I know people who doesn't really like the AC-130 gunship. Mount. And finally, it's the HVT, which is like one of my favorite types of things. If you have ever played any game of the GTA series, you know about the star levels, the cop level that chase you down when you do enough bad damage. Well, the HVT or high value target might be just that thing. A commander can mark a target at high value when they reach a kill streak of 6 or more. 6 or more, which is quite hard to reach if you're a standard issue player, you usually get about 4 and you die or... Yeah, that's... But when you are marked as a high value target, you get about 45 seconds of it. It's not that long, but it marks you on the map for everyone to see. So, yeah. That, the high value target will boost, will give it, be given a boost in points when it's marked. When killing enemy players, which is a good thing. But the ally team or your friendly team will also gain points for damaging you and killing you what much greater than normal so that's that so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of prepare for news if you did please hit the like down below subscribe on the screen and i'll see you guys in the next episode